Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John and in this video I'm going to show you some useful keyboard shortcuts for converting text to numbers, ignoring errors, and paste options such as paste values. All of these keyboard shortcuts are centered around the menu key on the keyboard. Typically the menu key is located between the Alt and Control keys on the right side of the keyboard. If your keyboard does not have the menu key, you can also use Shift plus F10 as an option. So in this first example, I'm going to show you the shortcut to convert a number stored as text to a number. So this cell here contains a number that is stored as text, and you'll notice when that cell is selected that this small air box appears on the left side of the cell, and clicking on that air box will bring up this menu that will allow you to convert the text to numbers but we want to uh, access this menu with the keyboard shortcut. And that keyboard shortcut is Alt plus the menu key. So I'm going to hold down the Alt key and then press the menu key. And you'll notice that that menu appears. And these uh, underlined letters in the menu will allow you to perform that action. So Alt plus the menu key plus the letter C is the keyboard shortcut to convert text to numbers. So I'll click off that menu, and now I'm going to press Alt plus Menu Key plus the letter C, and you'll see that that uh, cell has been converted to numbers. And you can also do that with a range of cells. If you select multiple cells, and you'll see the air box appears on the left side there, I'm going to hold Alt, Menu Key plus C, and those uh, numbers will be, or those uh, cells will be converted to numbers. So that's a really quick way to uh, convert your text to numbers. So we can use the same Alt plus Menu key keyboard shortcut to ignore the errors in our cells. In this case, I have a range of cells that all have that small green arrow in the top left corner. And sometimes if you have a report or something you want to publish, uh, you want to get rid of, you know there's not an error in there, but you want to get rid of those green arrows. You can simply select all the cells that contain the arrows and use Alt plus Menu key. And this time we can use the shortcut uh, letter I to ignore the error. So again, if I just select all those cells, Alt, Menu key, and then the letter I, that'll quickly uh, ignore the error and get rid of all those small green arrows in the top left corner of the cells. The Alt plus Menu key shortcut also works uh, for the paste options. So here I'm going to copy this cell and paste it in the cell below. And you'll notice that when I paste uh, this menu uh, pops up over here with all of our paste options. So here you can paste formulas, you can paste values, there's a bunch of different options for pasting. Uh, and you can use the uh, Alt plus Menu key to access that um, menu and then press any one of the letters at the end of the option there to perform that action. Now starting in Excel 2010, you can also access this menu using the control key. And that's really probably the fastest way to access this menu, is once you've pasted, you can then press the control key again, and, and then press one of these letters, like V, to paste values. And that'll paste the values in that cell. In Excel 2007, uh, that menu is not accessible by the uh, control key. So if, you have, if you're using Excel 2007, I'm going to copy and paste here, and you'll notice that, again, you get this little paste options menu over here, but you cannot press the control key to access it. However, you can use Alt plus the menu key to access that, and then uh, from there, that you get all kinds of options for, um, all kinds of paste options. So uh, you could paste values by basically pressing Alt plus the menu key plus V. So there's some quick keyboard shortcuts using the menu key. Again, if you don't have the menu key on the keyboard, you can use Shift plus F10. So those keyboard shortcuts would be Alt plus Shift plus F10 to access those menus. There's a link below the video where you can read more about this technique. And please subscribe to our free email newsletter at ExcelCampus.com to get more great tips like this. Thank you.